So I've had this problem recently where I'm recording videos of myself playing guitar and I'm using nice microphones, pretty close placement, playing loudly. I've got my preamp set just below the point where it's clipping, so I'm getting a good signal coming in. I'm recording in QuickTime Player on a Mac. Um, I record my video. You know, sounds good. Play it back. Sounds good. Upload it to YouTube. Sounds very quiet. So I've looked into why this is, I've come up with a solution, and I'm going to demonstrate how I fix it. Um, so I'm going to do this using Reaper, which is free. Um, well, it's not really free. You can fr use it for free for a long time, so a lot of people use it. I have actually paid for mine because I like it. I want to support them. All right, so I've loaded one of these videos into my Reaper project here. So I'm just going to go ahead and play right now. So, sounds pretty loud to me. Um, maybe my headphones are up loud, but anyway. So I'm using this meter. So uh, there's a free version of this plugin. I've, I've paid for a license for this for extra features. Um, but I'm using uh, Ulean Loudness Meter 2. Uh, I, I, use, I like to use the YouTube um, preset for it, because uh, I'm going to upload to YouTube, but I'm I'm going to go ahead and use the default. I don't think it really matters in this case. It's just, it just affects how it displays it. All right. So this red X button here is going to reset its recording of your loudness units. So I'm going to play back the entire video and you're going to see short term loudness units are, that's like the last second or two, um, averaged out, um, you know, the, you'll hear it called the LUFS, loudness units, full scale. Um, and then integrated will be um, basically averaged out for the entire time that it is recording. So those two are notable, and also the true peak max, um, which is how loud my track actually gets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play now, bring my video up here so you can see it, because why not? It's only about a minute long and I'm going to play the whole thing. Okay, so that was my whole video. Um, you can see my integrated loudness units is at about you know, almost negative 18. Um, I will note that this, uh, in my experience, just comparing to some uh, commercial recordings, um, at least ones that I like, that's not an unusual level there. So I've got a pretty decent level, um, but YouTube is not going to be happy with how this, um, with the volume of this video, because YouTube likes your loudness units to be somewhere around negative 13 to negative 14, which means uh, I really need to boost this recording by about three and a half, four, um, four decibels. What's going to happen there, though, is that my peaks, this true peak max here, um, if I, if I increase this by, let's say three decibels, um, my true peak max here is now going to be two decibels instead of negative one, um, which means it's above zero, which means YouTube is going to, um, it's going to bring my volume down so that it is below, uh, below zero DB so that it doesn't clip when it plays on other people's recordings. So what's actually going to happen is 
um, it's going to lower the volume of my whole recording, which is not what I want. So basically, I've got two problems. One, volume is too low for YouTube. Two, if I turn it up, YouTube's just going to turn it back down. So there's a fix for this. Um, cover up my video here. I'm going to move this aside. So I'm going to add a I'm going to add an effects here um, called real limit. Um, if you have Reaper, real limit comes with with it. Um, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to put that before the meter so we can see how loud it is. All right, so I'm going to set my uh, I'm going to set my brick wall ceiling to negative one dB. So it's just it's below um, it's a little below the maximum that that YouTube allows. That's just a little bit of wiggle room there for safety's sake. I'm going to use the true peak for that uh, because I want it to um, yeah I want it to make sure that it's, it's actually catching my peaks there. Um, let's see, now I'm going to start playing again, and I'm going to keep an eye on the short-term luffs, and I want to get those to about negative 14 or so. Okay, so I was a little confused at what I was doing there because I'm actually not a frequent Reaper user, um, but I figured out what I was going for. So basically, uh, I want to leave the master at zero, uh, but what I did was I turned up the uh, the volume slider for my video track until my integrated LUFs ended up being you know, around negative 14. You'll notice my true peak max is still negative one because because um, that's where I set it in the limiter. And I'm just gonna play this again um, from the beginning so you can see how much it's actually, you can see when and how much it's producing the gain. Okay, so you can see it's doing it on the notes I hit kind of hard. Um, you know, maybe this is me being an amateur producer slash YouTuber here, but um, I don't actually really hear that limiting so much. Um, it's a natural enough sound to me th with these settings. Um, your mileage may vary. If you have more sophisticated ears than me, you might set your settings differently, you might not turn it up quite so much. Um, it's kind of up to you. But um, but I'm happy with this where it is right now. So I'm going to close my meters. Um, and now I'm going to remember how to render a video in Reaper. Uh, so I'm going to go to render um, I'm going to give this a different name because I don't want to, I don't want to overwrite that. So we'll just say YouTube normalizing demo. Um, and for the sake of this, uh, I'm leaving the video, the settings the same, but basically it's important that you choose video here because I think that by default, it's going to be a WAV file. Um, and I went with the default audio codec. Um, this is probably lower than I would prefer. You know, you might do 256 there or something like that, but 
doesn't really bother me right now. So I'm going to render the file. And now that it is done, I am going to hide Reaper. Sorry, I'm going to bring up in my video in Finder. So here's my YouTube normalizing video. So what I did there was source study number two, version one. Here's the original. Now here's the version adjusted for YouTube. Okay, so you can hear that that's quite a bit louder. If I uploaded that to YouTube, it's gonna sound louder and not get turned down. Thank you.